All right, let's do some moderated mediation. Now, that might sound complicated, but it's not too bad compared to some of the other things we've been doing. All of this syntax here should be familiar to you until we get down to, let's see, well, let's start here. I've included in my use variables all the variables that I need to use plus a new interaction term. Notice this interaction term does not exist inside the names R area because it doesn't exist yet but I will create it down here. So after I standardize the variables, I will then create this new interaction term by multiplying my independent variable by my moderator. Then I'll create my model just as I usually do, making sure that my interaction term and my moderator are predicting the dependent variable and in this case, also the uh, predicting the mediator, which is apathy. Before I start showing you the code down here, let me show you what the model looks like. So here's the model. Dependent variable is job satisfaction. Mediator is apathy. Uh, see, customer rejection and feedback are independent variables. And power is a moderating variable. And feedback times empathy is our interaction. So back to the syntax. The new command is model indirect. And we're going to model an indirect moderated relationship. So the way you do that is by specifying the dependent variable and using this keyword mod and then specifying the mediator and the moderator against this range of values from negative three to positive three. We could change this to negative five or negative one or whatever we want to positive one, positive five, but we'll just use three to three for now. It's a nice moderately sized graph. And then we want intervals of 0.1 across that graph. And then we specify the interaction term and the independent variable and include these one and zero. For now, don't worry about what those mean. Just in case you get lost, I've included a comment here with everything that you're supposed to include. As with our interaction plotting before, we're gonna use plot two and we'd like a standardized output, modification indices for now, C interval and bootstrapping. When we run this, it produces a lot of output what I want you to focus on for this particular analysis for moderated mediation is the plot information. When you click on that, it'll take you down to here and you can click on moderation plots. Now there are four options for the moderation plots, or it looks like five options. We just want to look at the total natural indirect effect. You can also look at the direct effect and the total effect, but we're just going to look at the indirect effect. Hit OK, and it will plot it for you. Now this is just a floodlight or johnson neiman plot. So as with interaction moderation, we want to look at where zero is and where the confidence intervals cross zero. Unfortunately, in this case, zero being here, it goes straight through our confidence intervals, meaning that there is no value of empowerment for which the indirect effect is moderated. Since this one didn't work, let me show you a graph where we do see this just for learning purposes. So here's a graph where zero right here does cross the confidence interval in blue. I've put a green line here to show where that zero cross is. So for all values of the moderator greater than about negative 0.92, the indirect effect is moderated. For values less than negative 0.92, you can see that zero is within the confidence intervals. And so we cannot be confident that the indirect effect is moderated for those points less than negative 0.92. And that's it. So back to our analysis, can we say that there is moderated mediation? We can say that there is not because zero falls within the confidence intervals for all values of the moderator.